Lord as we go into our message for today. I am grateful, oh Lord. I am grateful, Lord. Amen. 
Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. You will cry to the Almighty God in these prayers that the blood of Jesus will come for every difficulties in your life. You will cry loud and say, Blood of Jesus! In the name of Jesus. And 
I speak to every altar that is calling your name. Every altar that printed your photo from your Facebook account and they put it on their altar. I command that altar to catch fire. To catch fire. To catch fire. everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Let your power prevail today. Let the entrance of your word bring light. Let it set the captives free. Let it deliver the oppressed. And at the very end, let all men shall know that you are the Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Three wonderful amen. Aha. Before you sit down, please go to three people and tell them that the Lord will bless you this week. You. And you shall see the result of your prayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord will bless you this week. And you shall see the result of your prayer. Mm -hmm. Let's clap for Jesus as we think of our sins. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord God Almighty will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank everyone and I want to thank the Almighty God who has given us life today. And I know that the Lord will continue to be our guide in Jesus' name. Yes. This day is the seventh day of our 70 days fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's somebody clap for the Almighty God. So you have done 10% of it, isn't it? Yes, yes you've done 10%, isn't it? Yes. And so if you did 10%, you can do 20%. Yes. If you did 20, you can do 30. Yes. And the power of God that has been on you to do 30 will make you to get into the hand. And tell somebody you shall get into the hand. Yes. And your enemy shall flee. Tell the person on the other side. So for those of you that have not joined us, today is the seventh day. We're gonna be continuing the prayer. And I know that our God will be with us in Jesus' name. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Job, chapter 34. And I'm reading from verse 20. And I will talk about disgracing the forces of the night. Disgracing the forces of the night. Job 34, verse 20. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has started to heal again here this morning. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that healing. Job 34, verse 20. Job 34, verse 20. I read, In a moment shall they die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty shall be taken away without hand did we get it before we read? i read it let's all read it together again with a loud voice together as a group job 34 verse 20 let's go and people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty shall be taken away without hand. Beloved, disgracing the forces of the night. When the Lord created the whole world, he created day and night. And there are ones that are in charge of the day. And there are powers in charge of the night. Either you understand what I'm saying or not, the two, the day and the night, they can't come together. But there are powers in charge of both day and the night. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will give you understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, there is an hour of the power of the night, which the Bible talked about. In that hour, there were a lot of things that happened there. Let's open to Luke chapter 22, verse 53, to see where the Bible referred or referred to as the hour of the power of the night. Luke 22, verse 53. Luke 22, verse 53. This was when Jesus Christ was speaking. He says, When I was daily with you. I'm reading Luke 22, verse 53. Luke 22, verse 53. I read, When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretch forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of Darkness. Praise the name of the Lord. In the hour of the night, a lot of things happen. 
In the hour of the night, it is a time for what I call, I call it satanic conference. It's a time when the enemies gather together to deliver their reports. It's a time when the enemy re-strategize how they're going to operate. The hour of the night is a time when the enemies take decisions that will affect the people, especially the children of God. The hour of the night is a time when the enemies renew evil covenants. The hour of the night is when the time that the powers of darkness get aggressive to begin to issue causes on the children of God. The hour of the night is a potent hour when the powers of darkness will want to carry out their operation. The hour of the night is when the enemies will want to supervise the yokes they have put on people's life. The hour of the night is when the enemies need to determine the fate of some people. Lift your right hand to the heavens and shout this loud and clear. Say, powers of the night! I can hear your voice! I send the trouble, my Lord! The night. In the name of Jesus! Aha! 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 The hour of the night is when you see some people gather together, they go for a meeting and they come back. By the next morning, the whole story changed. Like what happened to our wonderful Boris Johnson? He was going to contest, he was going to be the PM. Some guys took, they said, Move, let's meet in North London. Let's meet in Staffordshire or Appertinshire, somewhere. They took their car, all of them moved, they come out. By the following morning, the guy said, I'm not doing it again. It is in the hour of the night. And in fact, the reporter said in the hour of something took place between yesterday and this morning. Something happened. There was an evil meeting. There was a meeting that said, my friend, you can't be the thing. Come on, keep quiet there. You're, you're a small boy. In the hour of the night. The hour of the night is when you see politicians, even in the country where I come from, they meet at midnight. They don't see all of you. They just go at midnight. Reporters will not see them. It is in the hour of the night. It's in the hour of the night that those that want to steal also will want to do what? Steal. It's in the hour of the night that those that want to operate in mischievous ways will what? Operate. It happens in the physical. It also happens in the spiritual. Do we get it? And that time is very important. Tell somebody it's very important. Very important. The time of the night is a spiritual battle. It's a time when what they call the spiritual battle will be exchanged. It's a time when dark duties change. It's a time when you see dark meetings are being initiated. It is a time when you see an evil shift. Evil what? So some people will take over at that time of the night. I pray that the mighty hand of God will fight your battles in Jesus' name. I said the hand of God will fight your battles in the name of you. It is a covenant time for most covens to gather. Most covens to do what? To gather. It is a time of handover of notes to the workers of the night and the workers of darkness. It is a time of what I call spiritual traffic. Let me tell you what happens in the hour of the night. Some spirits move in the hour of the night. They distribute their demons everywhere. When it comes to in the hour of the world, the night. It is a time of what I call intense darkness. The hour of the night is a very wicked time. It is a time when people bring what I call a wicked attack on people. Some people went to sleep without no headache. When they woke up in the morning, they said, I have headache. And from that headache, it was hospital. From that hospital, it became stroke. From that stroke, the person died. And said, ah, just like that. Just like that. And everybody begins to say, why? What happened? What happened? She was not sick. He was not sick. He was okay. He still came to our meeting. He was okay. He was meeting with us in the meeting last time. He was very well. He did things like very well. He, he, even, he even spoke to me on the phone. Close your eyes. Lift your right hand to the heavens up. Say, every power of the night that wants to kill me, you are Aha, 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 
your seat. Somebody, they shot you in the leg in your trunk. Right there where you are, I decree that that evil arrow go back to sender in the name of Jesus. Go back to sender. 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 Go back to sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What are the powers of the land? Number one, witchcraft, sorcerers, enchanters, diviners, spirit wives, spirit husbands, occultic powers, evil summoners, counterfeit angels, familiar spirits, spiritual hand robbers, those that will come and steal your purse in the dream, steal your bag in the dream. Enter your house, bring out a gun in the dream. You read something, you, you, you open your hands and say, <laughs> and they say, bring all your things. Spiritual arm robbers in the dream. And when they collect it in the physical, the person begins to lose his positions one after the other. One after the other. I pray if they have collected your possessions in the dream, you shall recover them back. You shall recover back. You shall recover. 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 You shall recover in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take a seat. Now, they operate what I call a floating spirit. And those floating spirits, they are in charge of these things I'm going to talk about. So at the night, when they operate that power, it's a floating, it moves around. It moves around. And let me tell you what happens. At times, they go they can go to a hundred thousand people in a space of one hour in their operation. What did I say? A hundred what? Thousand. In a space of what? You have eight hours in the night. Ten to five a.m. They operate very fast. They move quickly. They want to do as much as possible. And that is why we say, your Psalm 91 before you sleep, you must read it. I that dwell it in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And you read it every day. You speak fire into your door, fire into the walls of the house. Let fire surround you. So that when they are passing by, they will crash land. I want to pray for somebody again. You will lift your right hand to the heavens. You will shout loud and clear. Say, Fire of God! I can't hear the Lord! Destroy my stubborn enemies! Spirit and they are in charge of number one, the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of people. So we will sleep, they were very alert in the morning. By the time they wake up, they were very heavy. You say, oh, ah, what happened? So heavy. Listen, they have bought something. Bottom line is you shake yourself off. What you need to do when you are heavy like that, you stand up from your bed, you will open your mouth and begin to decree you the spirit of heaviness that was put on me while I was sleeping. I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Listen, do it for at least aggressively for five minutes. You see that you go. But what many of us do, we just take our bus bags, brush your teeth, take your car keys, and you go in the house straight away. You, fall. you didn't even do nothing about it. Now let me tell you the way it works. In the hour of the night, the devil brings a big lorry that has a sound. What it does is that it brings it to your door. It offloads it. Put it there. Then you wake up. Say, ah, who can block my, my door? Who is this person that's blocking my door? What are you going to be doing? You're going to be using shovel to take it out. Shovel to take it out. Shovel. Isn't it? What you should be doing, even before you sleep, you put no back in. Is anybody listening to me? No what? No parking. This is a 24 hour zone, isn't it? Fire zone. No crossing. Nothing at all. That's what you should put there. And that's when you bleed the blood of Jesus. You release the fire. You speak. So that when they bring the thing, they can't park there. They can't park there. They can't park there. I want to break your life. Man. I was breaking in your life. Man. They shall die. They shall die. They shall Thank 
So you need to get that clear. So before you go to bed, no parking zone. No what? No parking zone. This is a 24 hour restricted area. This is a fire zone. Put fire there. Listen, some of you don't understand. The angels of God, they are more than everybody on earth. They are times, more than times 10 of us. So when you ask my father, can you release me seven security angels with lions? All of them have on one line. It happens to Oh, you're looking at me. It's as it happens. Release them. They'll be there. They will stand there and say, I need angels 10 to 5. Father, can you send me seven security angels in my house every night? I need them between the hour of 10 to 5 a.m. Let them gather around about my house. Let them be on my street. No car will be stolen in my street. No radio will be ejected. No car will be ejected. My street is on fire. You want to say that? And it begins to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you ask, immediately they will run them down. The question is that one day I pray that God will just open your eyes and see them. The day you see them, you will say, Oh, really? You mean it happened? It does. Tell somebody, listen to Pastor Hall. Tell the person again, let the person hear you. So you got to get that right. So every night you must pour fire. When I say every night you must walk, your bed, sir. When you see your bed, you just bed. You are not a, a no parking zone for the devil. Fire. Mm. You just my trust. I pour you into fire. Every day you are saying that. You are saying that. You sleep easy. You sleep what? Easy. Easy. I pray that the hand of God will touch you in Jesus' name. The power that are operating those spirit is they pour the spirit of sadness onto people. Someone that was very happy at night, he wakes up with sad. Begins to bang the door. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Brother, what happened? Hmm, he says nothing. Sister, what happened? He did, you didn't fight nobody. You probably even said good morning. Bam, 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 bang in the door. Spirit of sadness. They bring the spirit of death. They bring the spirit of dejection. The spirit of discouragement. The spirit of sleeplessness. Self pity. The spirit of suicide. The spirit of anger. The spirit of gossip. The spirit of hatred. The ones of murder, the ones of violence, the ones of sexual perversion, the ones of spiritual laziness. They also bring what I call masturbation, infirmity, agitation, worry, and also spiritual blindness. This is what they distribute at midnight. Now, what they distribute to you could be different from what they distributed to Mr. B. Are you getting me? What is written to Mr. A could be different from what they gave to Mr. C. The question here is that they must not come to your home. The forces of darkness must not be able to fight you. What are the ways out? Number one, the mystery to survive. How do you survive these forces of the night? The only way is to pray at night. Let me say it again. The only way is to do what? Whether it is five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, one hour, one hour, thirty minutes, three hours, just pray at and when you pray at night, you're not just praying chicken prayer. You know what people do? Chicken prayer. You know what chicken prayer means? They sit on the bed. Father Lord, I want to go and sleep now. I need you to help me. In Jesus' name. And they do something like that, you know. And they sleep. No. Tell somebody no. no. Tell the person no. no. So these are chicken prayers. And sometimes when they're saying it, they're sleeping. You know? Oh, Father Lord, I say, they're sleeping. No. So you must do it aggressively. How do you do it? You stand to your feet. Listen, if it's five minutes, stand to your feet. Let me say it again. If it's five minutes, do what? If it's ten minutes, stand to your feet. If it's fifteen minutes, stand to your feet. If it is one hour, stand to your feet. Always stand to your feet. And when you stand to your feet, it's easier. But you know, this country is very cold, you know? Some people are under their duvet. They want to say the prayer there. Am I correct? Yes. They want to sit under the duvet and, uh, and begin to. Listen, if you are not heating your house properly, you can't pray. So you must heat your house properly. 
first. Let your house be properly what? Heated. So that you can do the prayer very well. When I first came to the United Kingdom, I had a friend who came to pick me at the airport. When he came to pick me and I was sleeping, he goes into the toilet to pray. He was a prayer warrior. We go into the toilet and we pray. He says, he's, by the time he's out there, he's sweating. So he doesn't sweat in this London. He will pray, pray, pray. No sweat will come out. He goes in there and pray. Nobody even knows. The whole house is sleeping. They will pray in the toilet. If you have to pray in the toilet, you better pray in the toilet. That's what I'm talking to you. If you have to go into the back shed, a back garden to pray, you go there and pray. If you have to go into your car to pray, you better enter your car. Although you'll be seated in your car, isn't it? You can go to the back and kneel down and begin to do the fire brigade that we do in Lagos when there's no space. You got to do the prayer. So long as it's a night prayer. A brother was telling me, Pastor, they told me I can't pray in this house. I said, oh, Do you have a car? He said, Yes, go to your car. In fact, his car is a big is a van. He said, Enter your car. He says, Pastor, you know what? I've been praying in my van for the past three months and it's been working. So you can pray in your van. You can pray in your what? Your van. So don't let anybody deceive you. Understand clearly the hour of the night. If it's five minutes, make sure you do the prayer. And there are lots of things that God does. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that the Lord will fight for you in Jesus' name. Those that have all these evil birds making noises in their house, all these cats that are mating in your environment, all these things that are doing their, I mean, they just mess around your, your place, it's because you're not praying. Those people that they're always stealing on your streets, they will steal this one's cat. It's an insult to your God. You, a child of God on that street, you should be in charge of the whole street. Of the what? All street. It means that you're not, you don't understand what to do. What you need to do is sometimes you get out and walk around your street and take authority from the north to the south to the east and the west and say no force will work here. No power will work here. A time when we first parked, when I first parked some years ago, when we parked to where I was living, and there were a lot of still in there. I said, ah, how can I be living here? And there are people are still in they're still in here, they're still in. Ah, what kind of rubbish is this? I, I, I began a, a what I call a spiritual warfare for the only people. See, there must be no more stealing here. And since then, I've never, but maybe these thieves, they actually uprooted them from there. They were living around there. They uprooted them out permanently. I pray for somebody today that every power disturbing you at night, they shall be uprooted by fire. They shall be uprooted by fire. They shall be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you must, number one, you must pray at night. The second thing is that you must be born again. It's not negotiable. And you must also desire to possess your possession at midnight. You must determine to withdraw your hands from the affairs. You must be not deep deal with them. That let them leave you. Let you enjoy your life. You must also pray some kind of prayer that we are going to pray now. You must be able to pray them. In the hour of the night, sometimes it could be very tough. It could be very tough for you to pray. But beloved, if you do it every day, every day, if one night you slept off, do you know that those angels will take up? You don't know, like in this church, there's some angels that come here before we get here. Many of you don't know. I pray one day, one day they will open your eyes. Even if you're not here, they will come. They'll be waiting. They'll be waiting. That's their job. They'll just be waiting. So when you call them to your house, they will be there. Even though you have not even talked to them, you have spoken to them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day you're calling them. Then one day you slept off. They will still come. They will still what? In fact, sleep off for one week at times, they will still come. It's only when the Prince of Persia comes and will lay them. Some angels can will lay another angel. What I mean by will lay is that they can harass another angel. They can arrest another angel. They can handcuff them. An angel can do that. It's in Daniel 21. You can see when Daniel decided to fast, the Lord said that his answers were given straight away. But what happened? The prince of Pasha will steal the angel. Then you will discover now that an angel, which is Michael, he came to rescue the angel that was being arrested. You will see it in the Bible. So, those ones that are in your house, when they have no more fire, what's their fire? The prayer you pray. The prayer you want. When the petrol level goes down, when the gas level goes down, 
then they begin to be weak. They begin to be weak. Then the forces of darkness will come and arouse them, chase them away. Then they cannot operate against it. But as long as you continue to put the fuel, put the gas, which is your prayer, they continue to be there. They continue to be what? In fact, some of them, after you have prayed so much for years and years, they have nowhere again they're going. <laughs> they have what? Nowhere. That's why some people, they say they travel with you. Or they travel with this person. And everything went well. They say you came into the house. And since today, everything went well. Because those angels, they've been there. They've been coming, following you everywhere. Some people, they became your friend. Since they became, they be, everything began to go very... Because... Some powers have been working for them a long time ago. A long time ago. I want to pray for somebody again. Uh, that the powers that are harassing your life uh, in the hour of the night, uh, the forces that are pushing you in the hour of the night, uh, I bury them now. I bury them now. I bury them. I bury them. I bury them. I bury them. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all eyes be closed. All heads be bowed. We'll continue at, at, at in the hour of the night. For those of you that have never given your life to Christ, today is another day, a day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is an eternal life through Jesus Christ of our Lord. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The Bible tells us that and whosoever's name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 20, verse 15. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The Bible tells us also in Hebrews chapter 10, 17, it says, And their sins and iniquity will I remember no more. Wherever you are in this auditorium, listening to me, or you are watching me online, I want to pray for you now. You want to surrender your life to Christ? Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow might be too late. If Jesus has to come right now, will you make heaven? If you are not sure you make heaven, it means you need to surrender your life to Christ now. Or you need to rededicate your life to Christ right now. All eyes closed. Why all eyes are closed? All heads are bowed. Just put your right hand on your chest. You know yourself and the Lord knows you. Just put your right hand on your chest and say these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Beginning from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I am now born again. I will walk with you, Jesus. I accept you into my life. Forgive me all my sins, O Lord. And accept me as your child. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for your children who are surrendering lives to you today. I ask, O Lord, that you will forgive them in Jesus' name. You will write the name in the book of life in the name of Jesus. The word says in John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That is, your children have heard your word this morning and they have believed in your word. Lord, I ask that you give them everlasting life in Jesus' name. Your words also says, and their sins and iniquity will I remember no more. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. Father, I ask that you will remember no more their sins in Jesus' name. Father, let your blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary cleanse them from every sin in Jesus' name. And when they open their mouth to pray to you this morning, that they answer them speedily in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. In louder, amen. Let's talk to our feet as we're going to our prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise, hallelujah, let God arise, and his enemies be scattered, let God arise, and his enemies be scattered, let God arise, and his enemies be scattered, let God arise.
eyes closed. Beloved, we have some prayers to pray. And when we begin to pray the prayers, a lot of things begin to happen. The powers that you could not deal with well at midnight, you want to open your mouth and deal with them now. And I know that the Lord God Almighty who has brought you here is here to give you a testimony. Yeah. And you shall not go empty and then in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The powers of the night are attacking my destiny. Let us say louder. Aha. speaking to the dead in the dream. And those that are always speaking to their dead auntie, dead uncle, dead mother, dead brother, dead father, and they communicate, and they think they are really speaking to them. Listen, you're speaking to the spirit of the dead. They're not speaking to them. They're only using their face to bring you nearer. They're, it's not them. They're only they're using their face. It is the spirit of the dead. The spirit of the grave, the spirit of the mortuary. You will close your eyes. You will shout as loud as I can. The spirit of the grave. somebody wanted to cut off your head and you're always running, you will say this loud and clear. Arrows of the powers of the night. I can hear the voice. I can hear your voice. Batraya. In the name of Jesus. The Batraya. Arrows of the powers of the night. Batraya. 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 Listen, they are satanic caterers. They want to poison you. They want to bring down your spirit man. They want to destroy anything about you. So if you are eating consistently, those satanic caterers, you must destroy them. Yeah. You will now cry loud and clear. Say, satanic night caterers. Satanic night caterers. I can hear the voice. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name, 
the bridge. Take it to ourselves, man. Take it to ourselves. Yes. Church of Two Hands, Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree into the life of your children that any power of the night that has captured the glory of this world, I command that power to release them by fire. Let your hand have no respect. That was fired at you. Every hour of incredible disease that was programmed into your life in the hour of the night. I command the hour to go back to center. 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 In the name of Jesus. I decree that the power that are always pursuing you at midnight and you're always running, running, running until you wake up. I decree. Let the God of Elijah pursue your pursuer. Let the Lord of Elijah pursue your pursuers. Pursue your pursuers. In the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I ask that the hand of God will flow into your life. The mighty hand of God will fight for you. Beginning from now in the hour of the night, the Lord will turn you to flames of fire. I said the Lord will turn you to flames of fire. The Lord will turn you to flames of fire. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you shall pursue. Amen. You shall overtake. Amen. You shall recover all. Amen. You shall pursue. Amen. You shall overtake. Amen. You shall recover all. Amen. You shall pursue. Amen. You shall overtake. Amen. And recover all. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father Lord. Blessed be the name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me hear Amen three times. Aha. Aha. Let's start for Jesus and take our seat. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved.